hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are always welcome and do not forget to hit that subscribe button share the video and also like it in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this super delicious burger bun so now we are going to start off with one cup of milk the milk should be warm milk and not hot because um, hot milk will kill the yeast to the milk we are also going to add one and a half teaspoon of dry instant yeast to that we are going to add two tablespoons of sugar it can either be brown or white sugar and then you're just going to get your whisk or wooden spoon and we are going to mix everything together until the yeast um, has dissolved in the milk after mixing you are going to go ahead and add one egg and you're just going to get a whisk or a wooden spoon and just continue mixing the egg to the rest of the ingredients mix until everything is well combined and now it's time to add the flour so we are going to add two and a half cups of white bread with flour just take note that you probably might need more or less depending on the humidity of your area to that we are going to add half a teaspoon of salt you are now going to get your wooden spoon and mix all the ingredients together very very well Now after mixing just until everything is combined we are going to remove our dough from the bowl and we are going to start kneading it. Just make sure you dust the area where you are going to knead so that the dough cannot stick onto the surface and as you can see it's a bit sticky so I'm just going to add some flour. So when you find that your dough is a bit too sticky, you can always add some flour. Just make sure that the consistency that we are looking for in this recipe would like our dough to be a bit sticky, but not too sticky that it's sticking to our hands. The other thing that I forgot to mention is that we are also going to need some oil. It can either be sunflower, cooking oil or butter. So what i'm doing there i'm just adding some cooking oil which is around about um, one tablespoon one tablespoon of cooking oil and if you do not have cooking oil you can also add butter which is around about also one tablespoon of margarine butter and then you're just going to continue kneading the dough now this is the time to go ahead and um, put on your timer for 10 minutes so guys, we're going to knead our dough for 10 minutes until it becomes very very nice and pliable and less sticky. Now we have been kneading our dough for around about 10 minutes. So to check if the dough is ready, you can always just press it with your finger. And if the dough slightly springs back, it means it is ready. If it doesn't, then it means you need to continue kneading it. So this is the consistency we would like. You can see it's a bit sticky, but not too sticky. I have lightly greased my mixing bowl and my dough as well so that the dough cannot dry out and we're just going to place the dough into the mixing bowl and we're going to cover it with a tea towel and let it rest for around about one to two hours 
our dough has now been resting for around about one hour guys you can see that it has doubled in size and it looks so good so now we're just going to punch it down and remove all the air that was inside and now we're just going to remove the dough from the bowl and we are going to roll it into a log shape now you're going to get your knife and we are going to divide or cut our dough into around about five to six equal pieces after cutting the dough we're just going to knead the dough pieces into small balls After rolling the dough, you're going to place it into your baking tray lined with some baking paper. If you do not have baking paper, you can spray it with some nonstick cooking spray or just put some cooking oil or some butter. We are going to cover our baking tray and we are going to let our dough rest for around about 30 minutes. The dough has been sitting for around about 30 minutes. Now we're just going to prepare our egg wash. So an egg wash is basically one egg which we're going to mix with two tablespoons of milk. After mixing the egg wash, we are going to gently brush it on top of our dough. And now we are going to place our dough into a preheated oven. We are going to bake our buns for around about 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees celsius it has now been around about 20 minutes and guys our buns are baked look at that they are golden brown and they look so so delicious and i'm telling you guys these buns are very very delicious so what you can do with these buns is you can make a burger out of the buns and i do have a recipe on how to make a burger a very juicy delicious burger so you can click on the card above there or you can go in the description box and you will find the link to the video of how to make a burger guys if you enjoyed the video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your family and friends and guys thank you for all your support and until next time bye guys